Hey everybody, Boss Holland there, helping you to stay fit, healthy and helping to achieve your goals. I don't know why, but somehow Thursday always seems the busiest day of the week. So I have a whole to-do list. I'm gonna go to some place in Holland to teach a class and to have a presentation. Then I'm driving all the way across to the other side of Holland to have my evening classes. And in between I'm gonna make this vlog, so I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go! One hour drive and three phone calls later. Okay, thank you. Later, Robert. Bye. 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 All right, about to do that presentation about cycle opportunities together with Debbie. She already set up the room. Um, and she actually did this. It's a 50 minute drive from the office to the place where I am right now. She told me it was one hour and 15 minutes because she knows that I tend to be too late. So I was here early. Thanks Debbie. Uh, my name is Bas Hollander and this is Debbie Koekoek. Hi. Samen geven wij de komende... Twee en een half uur. Twee en een half uur. Uh, waarbij we eerst door een presentatie gaan over de kansen voor uh, cycling binnen de club. En vervolgens uh, wil ik jullie graag meenemen door uh, Sprint, Les Mills Sprint, het nieuwste programma van Les Mills. Presentation done, now about to teach Sprint. gym doing my last three classes teaching CX then grit and then sprint so that's gonna be tough I gotta show you something we all know these people maybe you're one of them I'm sometimes one of them people who are doing their absolute best striving for a goal they're doing well for a few days a few weeks maybe even a few months and then one day they mess up once and then they think their whole goal was ruined and continuing striving towards that goal is completely useless do you recognize that there are a lot of people having that all or nothing mentality when it comes to losing weight and sticking to their diet. They set their goal on losing weight, they're doing great, lowering their energy intake for a while and then all of a sudden, in a moment of complete chaos, they eat too much. And at that point they think that their whole diet is wasted. It's that all or nothing mentality that makes them actually stop doing their diet and going back to what they did before they were doing that diet. This is a study that was highlighted by somebody I follow and I wanted to show you it as well. The study measures a person's daily intake over a whole year, so 365 days. And you can see that there are a lot of these high peaks. There are actually two really high peaks. He probably ate sushi in an all-you-can-eat restaurant here in Holland. And in this graph, his weight is measured for the same year. Look what these sushi nights did for his weight. They did absolutely nothing. Nothing happened. Hey, and that means that incidental overeating doesn't affect your weight. Weight is only affected if it's not incidental, but for a longer period back to back, then weight is affected. So if you're doing great sticking to your goal and you incidentally overeat by eating a cookie, the diet is not ruined. You can still continue where you left off because weight is not effective by incidentally overeating. Just pick it up where you left right before that whole cookie drama. I really hope that this makes you a little bit less strict towards your own goals and you're not focusing too much on the details. Just see the overall picture. Um, hope that helped. Now, gonna teach classes. That, these help too. Done teaching three classes back to back. Um, now, driving home. 
All right, I'm home. That was quite a day, quite a tough one actually. A lot of workouts, a lot of uh, running, driving, everywhere. Tomorrow is going to be a big day as well. We're going to train with the trainer team. I'm going to show you that in another video. If you want to see that, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would really appreciate that. And then we see each other next time. Bye.